So in this video I will be showing you how to create this effect. I will show you how to do it in Cinema 4D using this small house that we found in this forest here. And yeah, it's gonna be very easy, very simple. One of the easiest things you, you'll be seeing in, the, in your life. The drone is gonna take some pictures. You're gonna see the model and you can download it from the link in the description. First, you will have to download this model from the link in the description. And when you have imported it, the first thing you want to do is go in this texture preview size and select no scaling so that the texture can be seen a bit better. Next, create a plane. Uh, I will give this plane something like 40,000 centimeters, so it's, it, seems, it seems like it's almost infinite. Next, I will create some lights because everything looks better always with some lights and some shadows here. Next, I will press Shift V and go in this, uh, enable the shadows and enable this SSO so that it more, like, looks more realistic. Next, I will disable this work plane and disable these lights so that everything is cleaner. So now for the fracture, I will simply create this Voronoi fracture object and I will take this building, I will go in this right view, uh, I will select the lasso selection tool and go in this polygons mode. I will take uh, and select all of this upper part here and click U plus P to separate them. It will create two objects. One was the last object and you have to go in the first object and delete this part uh, so that uh, only the upper part remains. I don't know why Cinema 4D leaves it in the first object, but whatever. I'm gonna delete it and go on to the next step, which is that you have to drag this building in the Voronoi fracture, and as you can see, uh, something is already going on here. Uh, this building, upper part of the building is being fractured. Next, I will just increase the amount of points here to something like 120 and actually I will uh, set this distribution type to exponential and the reason for that is that I will be using this wrecking ball to kind of uh, destroy this building and I plan on hitting the wrecking ball uh, in this this place somewhere somewhere around here so that's why I am making these point distribution uh, in this way that the smaller parts are on this corner and all of the other parts are getting like bigger uh, on the sides because that that way the animation will look better so now I will add this collider body to the building which is the upper uh, lower part and also to the plane and to this Voronoi fracture I will add a rigid body tag and when I press play now everything kind of blows up and there's even uh, more problems here and one of the problems is that all of these parts are kind of empty you know they do not have uh, like fill I have to find one uh, good example of this so that I can show what's you what's going on for example this one it should be filled and actually there's a very uh, easy way to fill this to, to, to like um, make this right uh, filled which is you go in this object or no fracture and you click optimize holes so now when you play the animation you can see that all of these parts they are kind of filled uh, with uh, some stuff the well the technical term is the holes have been filled I think so now if you go in this colorize uh, if you deselect this colorize fragments and look at your animation you can see that the same thing is happening over here and for that there's an easy fix you just select it uh, click polygon mode go in the click M and D which is close polygon hole tool and just hover over this edge and click click once and it's gonna be filled so now you can see that it uh, it has been filled and of course the texture is not perfect here but for that for now it's gonna it's gonna do so next what I'm gonna do is set this dynamics trigger to on collision and this is gonna make it so that the animation is not playing while there's nothing happening now and I'm gonna create a sphere which is gonna be the wrecking ball for me I'm gonna place this sphere somewhere here somewhere around the place where I want it to hit this um, this building uh, 
So this is going to be okay. Next, I'm going to create a null object. I will hold down shift so it becomes a child of the sphere and gets the same coordinates. I will drag it out and now I will place it, I will drag it somewhere higher. And now I will place the sphere as a child of the null object. Next, I will add a spring. I will make it also a child, but it doesn't really matter. I do it just for the so that the, it's cleaner. And I will drag this null object here and the sphere here and click set rest length. Now I can rotate this. And if I add a rigid body tag to the sphere and click play, the sphere will fall down and like uh, swing into the building. And as you can see, this animation is not perfect. Why is that? Because there's all kinds of chaos going on here. One thing you can do to reduce this chaos is go in this collision and decrease the size increment, for example. And that's, that's a very small change. But the big change will come when you go in this... Um, where was that? Where was that? In this dynamics and click this trigger velocity threshold and set it to 100 centimeters. So this way, uh, these parts which are not really meant to be like uh, triggered instantly with the smallest force, they are going to be triggered only when there's a bigger force. And actually, this looks pretty good, you know? This already looks pretty good. So thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video. But I actually can do something more to make this uh, look even better. I will increase this and look uh, what uh, and see what I can get. I will increase this point amount actually. And let me just see what's going on when this point amount is increased here. Okay, this is not not bad, but there's some weirdness going on there. And one more thing you can do, you can create this connector here. And this connector is going to connect all of them together. And as you can see now, they are too strong. This is too strong. And there are two ways to change that. You can change this force to something like uh, the, uh, divided by 10, which is 4000. And this should be 10 times as not, not as strong. And as you can see, it's not enough, really. But one more thing you can do is increase the mass of this um, sphere. And I think mass of 10 is enough in this case. Yeah, as you can see, it's enough. So yeah, this is the tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please write them in the comments. And uh, you know, you can just, um, you can do all kinds of things with this setup. You can, you can even move around this ball. Uh, let me increase this. Uh, and you can, yeah, you can move around. Let me just, yeah, you can move it around yourself. And let's say this, it hits the building here. Then you can move it again, and you can make the ball hit the building more times. Right? Very good. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you want to create a chain or something for the ball. That's, uh, that's for another tutorial. Actually, I have a tutorial uh, on this channel for a chain, so you can watch that. Yeah, thanks for watching. If you liked it, please subscribe. Please, please click like. If you didn't like it, well, you know, uh, you will like it. If, if you watch it one more time, you probably will like it. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.